What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another A to Z of ARC for you guys today and today guys we are taking a look at none other than the Maywings. Now these guys are exclusively found on Genesis Part 2. However, you can spawn them in on other maps. The reason we are on Valgira at the moment is because Genesis Part 2 is still a laggy mess on single player. At the moment for me anyway. So we are on Valgira to provide a smooth and nice video experience for you guys. But Nonetheless, we're going to jump into it. So like I said, they are found exclusively on Genesis Part 2. These guys are a knockout team. They can be fed mutton, berries, meat, prime meat, kibble. Your best bet is to use raw mutton on these guys as that is their most preferred food unless you do have access to kibble, in which case you can go ahead and feed them kibble. Now, in order to trap these guys and tame them, all you will need is a couple of billboards and some tranks. These guys do have super low torpor, so even if you're running around with a primitive bow or a crossbow, you can easily knock these guys out. Now, the moment that you will shoot one, they will take off to the skies. You can see there, it's going to launch itself into the skies, which is why you need to go ahead and trap it. Now, what will also happen is the Maywings in the area as well will freak out if they are close enough. If not, you can see that this one over here is just casually wandering around like nothing happened. So, in order to trap these guys, all you will need is three or four billboards. That is literally it. You don't need any fancy trap or anything like that. And what you want to do is follow the Maywing around until it stops moving, or if you're feeling brave, you could just go ahead and whack it down. And what you want to try and aim for is to get it in the middle of its body like that. Now, it's not guaranteed to work every single time because, well, it's just arc for you. But you can see here, if we get the first trap down and it's stuck just like that, we can get it stuck like that. Boom. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's literally all you need to do in order to get a Maywing. If you want to make sure that it is completely stuck, chuck a couple extra more down. You can see there we've got four and I can guarantee you that the Maywing is not going to escape out of this trap. Then once you need, what you need to do is simply knock it out. It's a simple knockout tame. Aim for the head. You will get an extra multiplier. I believe you get an extra multiplier from the head. Let's double check. No, you don't get an extra multiplier, but you can see there three darts and it is a sleep for a 140. It's only got 900 torpor. So they are super, super easy to knock out. Once you've got it knocked out, all you need to do is wait for it to be hungry a little bit and feed it some raw mutton. Now, if you do have access to kibble, you can go ahead and use basic kibble to tame this guy up as well, but raw mutton will do the job just as well. If you don't have access to raw mutton, Prime meat is probably going to be your next best friend. And then after that, you want to use your normal berries as well as raw meat. Now, once you've got your Maywing tamed up, their saddle is learned at level 19, which is super easy for you to learn. Pretty easy to craft. You need a little bit of metal, a little bit of hide, and a little bit of fiber, which on Genesis Part 2 is very easy to come across. Simply make up your saddle in the smithy, and you will have yourself a baby steel and raisin possum platypus thing. Now, as for the Maywing's abilities... It has the ability to jump, to glide, and to glide over water. This guy is probably one of the fastest creatures in all of Ark, in all capacities. It can swim, it can glide, it can glide over the water, it can glide over land. This guy is the ultimate, I should say this girl and guy, is the ultimate traversing creature. Now as well as that, these guys have the ability to harvest berries. They have the ability to do a belly flop attack, which you can see there. You can also harvest berries with this belly flop attack if you time your buttons right. If you hit your secondary attack and then hit your primary attack as you are slamming down, you will gather berries from that, which is awesome. Now, these guys also have the ability to reduce berries in their inventory and meat by 50% of their weight. So you can currently see here the berries only weigh 5 in their inventory. We put it in ours, it'll weigh 10. So they reduce the weight of all berries and meat by 50%, which is awesome. We're going to drop all of that. They also do gather fiber as well. So they are really good at getting all of that stuff. Now, if you have two Maywings, you can breed them together. It does not matter because they do not have a gender. So you can enable mating on both of your Maywings and both of them will actually obtain eggs that you can raise and get more Maywings with. Now, as well as that, these guys are able to produce eggs of various tiers of quality. So basic, simple, regular, exceptional, extraordinary, and superior eggs. These guys can produce all those eggs which you can use for kibble. So these guys are the ultimate kibble producing machines because of that ability. Now you can see here that once they have finished mating, they have both produced an egg. You can see basic fertilized maywinging, and over here we have a different kind. What is it? Extraordinary. Now you can also use these eggs for the kibble as well. Just because they are fertilized does not mean you can use them 
for the kibble, you can definitely use those eggs for kibble. Now, another cool factor of the Maywing is that their saddle acts as a baby carrier, as well as that their inventory acts as a feeding trough. And with this, you can actually claim the Maywing babies and put them in the saddles. So you can see here, if we claim them, you can see there, boom. Now, you can also steal enemy babies with this method. We are on PVE at the moment, so it's not allowing us to show you. But you can simply walk up to enemy players baby dinos and claim them using your tertiary attack key, which is your C button in this case on PC and on consoles, I believe it is the thumbstick. And all you need to do is simply walk up to them, hit that button and it will claim them, put them in the Maywings pouch baskets and you can get a quick, clean getaway with some of your enemies dinos. Now, as well as that, like I said, these guys can raise them as well. Their inventory acts as a portable feeding trough. So all you need to do is place food into the Maywings inventory and it will act as a feeding trough and feed all of your babies. So if we grab the babies here, you can see there we've got all four of them in the basket. That is the maximum capacity of the Maywing and these guys can sit in the basket until they are fully grown. Now at the moment we've got no food in the inventory of our Maywings. We can go ahead, we can still continue to use all of our attacks, we can glide still and do all of that with the babies in our inventory. If we jump off, we take a look in the Maywings inventory, you can see here we've got a bit of food. All we need to do to feed the babies is simply go ahead and activate trough feeding. You can see here the food is dropping. All we need to do, come into here, enable nursing baby feeding trough, and that will kick in and start feeding the babies from the Maywings inventory. Now do take note that troughs actually override the Maywings inventory when they reach a juvenile stage. So if you don't, if you have a trough placed down, the baby Maywings or baby creatures will prioritize the trough over the Maywing until there's obviously no food left in the trough and then they'll prioritize the Maywing. Now you can also feed Wyverns as well as Magmasaurs using this method, as long as you've got Ambergus or Wyvern milk in the Maywings inventory. Now these babies will be in the Maywings inventory until they fully grow up or unless of course you remove them. So guys, they are now at the adolescent stage and they are still able to be picked up. So you can use the Maywing to raise the babies until they are fully grown like this, which is awesome if you're on the move or anything like that. Now guys, before we wrap up the video, one other ability that the Maywings have is that they have no oxygen stats. So you can take these guys underwater indefinitely with you and they're great swimmers. As well as that, you can also jump from the water's edge underneath and simply fly away or glide away. And then if you really wanted to, you could also skirt along the edges. Now you can also jump while doing this gliding method as well. And that makes the Maywing one of the best traveling creatures in all of Ark. So guys, that is going to wrap up the video for today. That is the Maywing, all its abilities, everything you need to know about it, how to tame it, where to get it, and all that good stuff. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video today. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe down below for more, and I will catch you in the next one.